story time. So, uh, uh, let me sit back and make myself comfortable. I'm going to tell you guys a story. So, uh, you can see that I am working on Gung Ho. I'm not taking all of Paulus's accoutrements. And I'm going to go grab my Brasso and a couple of Q-tips. And I'm going to scrape that thing off of this chest. And I'm going to put a proper Marine Corps logo on its chest the way that Larry Hama intended. No, it wasn't really Hama. It was uh, Ron Rudat. Ron Rudat. He was the guy who designed Gung Ho. Larry Hama just wrote the character. So, Larry Hama would have come up with his personality. Ron Rudat came up with the look. I'm going to put a Marine Corps logo on there, and hopefully Ron Rudat will be proud of me if he sees it. So, uh, yeah. I, uh, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. Uh, I am here to talk about how I got banned from Facebook. So, uh, a lot of people have been asking me about this because I did wind up getting a 24-hour ban from Facebook, and... That was really irritating. And everybody's like, well, how do you violate the, 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 the standards and practices and community guidelines? I didn't violate any of them. That's the crazy thing. So uh, let, me, uh, let me show you guys a picture. Let me, let me find it real quick. And uh, I'll tell you the story. So basically, I was just posting on Facebook, like right before I started work last night. And uh, just kind of, you know, bullshitting around like you do posting on Facebook. And uh, put a comment on a, a friend of mine's uh, post in a group. And he was talking about the Mandalorian. And uh, he was talking about how, uh, I don't want to get into spoilers for the latest episode of The Mandalorian, if you haven't seen it. But, uh, he was talking about how, you know, uh, they, they, they said what the child's name was. They said what Baby Yoda's real name was, because you, you didn't think his mom named him Baby Yoda, did you? No, he, he's got his own name. So, uh, so yeah, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what he posted was, we don't have to call him Baby Yoda anymore. And I'm like, I never had to call him Baby Yoda. I just did. What else are you going to call him? Like, I guess you could call him the child, but that doesn't really say what the character is instantly, you know? If, if somebody, if you say, oh, you know what character in Star Wars is cool? The child. Well, what child? Like, Anakin in episode one? Like the youngling that Anakin cuts in half in episode three? It's like the the broom boy from from Last Jedi? Is that your favorite? No, 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 no. I'm talking Baby Yoda. So it just saves time just to call the character Baby Yoda. And apparently, I haven't seen the episode yet, so I'm not spoiling it. I'm just talking about what I heard. Uh, is that the character, uh, his name was announced... And a lot of people were really disappointed that this was the name that the character was given. They didn't like it. But so there's, there's a little bit of controversy about that character's name. And uh, regardless, that's not really what this video is about. I'm just setting up the story. This is me telling the story. So, uh, <clears throat> anyway. Uh, you know, I, I, I made a little smart aleck comment like I do, and said that, you know, I, I could call the character Brock Toon if I wanted to. I don't really care. I'll call him whatever. And, uh, uh, this was a joke, for, for those of you who don't know, this was a joke on, uh, a Saturday Night Live sketch. An old Saturday Night Live sketch with Tom Hanks in it, and he, Tom Hanks was playing... Uh, the president of the Mr. Belvedere fan club. It's a really funny sketch. You can check it out. It's on YouTube. And uh, if... God, uh, Mr. Belvedere is a show from the 80s, so a lot of you might not even remember Mr. Belvedere. <laughs> but I'm not going to get into all that. Basically, the point is, it's a bunch of crazy people that are in a Mr. Belvedere fan club, which was a show in the 80s. And uh, uh, just them basically acting like lunatics. 
And one of the things that, that they say is that uh, they're going to make up a nickname so that they can recognize other members of the club if they're in another town or something. And and that's by referring to Mr. Belvenier as Brock Toon. So you had to be there. Just watch the sketch. It's funny. So uh, anyway, so my friend, being a, a cultured individual, uh, also was familiar with, with Brock Toon. He is a, a, a devotee of Brock Toon and, you know, said, well, those of you in the know might think you're talking about Mr. Belvedere. And I thought that was pretty funny. So I posted a meme that I've posted many times that I made myself. I made this meme. And uh, I'll show it to you. It's a meme that I made, a picture of Captain America with a, you can see the picture. I don't know if you can really read it that well, but yeah, here we go. Uh, you understood that reference. This is this is something I, I give to people as as a medal almost when they when they understand something I'm talking about. And then uh, not long after that, I got this lovely notification from Facebook that says, "Let me see if I can get this to focus so you can read it." Uh, your comment goes against our community standards. Yeah, I'm like, how did that go against community standards? No one else can see your comment. We have these standards to encourage safety and compliance with common legal restrictions. Your comment goes against our community standards on drugs. So not only did I go against the community standards, I apparently did it on drugs, which was weird to me because I was about to start work, so I certainly wasn't on drugs. <laughs> I think what they mean is that they have standards about drugs. And I somehow somehow with this image, violated them. And you can see I didn't write anything there. I uh, I just posted the picture. And you can see his name is tagged in it. But I didn't even tag the name. Facebook does that automatically. Normally, nine times out of ten, I would have deleted the name because I don't like to tag people like that. I, I think that's annoying to do that. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> But this time, I, I just kind of forgot. I guess I was I was just in a hurry to post, because like I said, it was about to start work. And uh, so when this came up, I'm like, well, this is clearly a mistake. This is obviously, like, some kind of robot caught it, and uh, it, it, should, it should not be. It, because I, obviously, this has nothing to do with drugs. Uh, you know, super soldier serum is not an illegal drug. You know, it was an experimental drug from World War II. It's not illegal. They never made it illegal. Just like LSD used to be legal and cocaine used to be legal. They, but they made them illegal at some point. Super Soldier Serum, they never bothered to make it illegal because the guy who invented it died and never wrote it down. So, uh, that's neither here nor there. But it, it's fun facts. That's why there, there never was another Captain America with the Super Soldier Serum. So, <clears throat> anyway... Uh, so since this was clearly a mistake, obviously a mistake, you know, when, uh, w when, when the thing came up and it said, you know, do you agree with, I, I, I clicked on, I do not agree with this. And basically my hope was, is that, you know, an actual human being would review it and see that a mistake has been made and that they would then, uh, you know, fix it. And maybe fix whatever kind of kind of glitch caused this to be a thing in the first place. Uh, but that didn't happen. Instead, what wound up happening is, a little while later, I then got banned from commenting or, and sharing things on my page on Facebook entirely for 24 hours. And to me, this was insane because I didn't do anything wrong. I did not violate any of the community standards or anything like you saw you saw the post I showed it to you I ask you out there in the internet ether did you see anything that could be construed as like any kind of drug reference like at all <laughs> right? outside of maybe super soldier syrup which is a fictional drug and not even illegal <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's how I, I got banned from Facebook for 24 hours and uh, I have to laugh about it because it's so ridiculous 
But the thing is, is it's it's kind of scary in a way too because obviously this is a completely innocent, innocuous thing that nobody should be banned for at all. Like even even still, even if it was uh, even if if it was an actual violation, you think it'd just be a warning or they'd just delete the comment or something like that. Not not ban you from posting for twenty four hours. I didn't even do anything. <sighs> so it's it's you know they they could they could just up and ban you for not for literally nothing literally nothing for not not breaking any rules they can go ahead and ban you and that's kind of scary. So uh, I keep thinking about the movie The Social Network, and if you haven't watched that movie, you should watch it. It's a fantastic movie. David Fincher, great director, uh, great cast. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg playing the role that he was born to play, Mark Zuckerberg, and uh, I guess it's it's he, he's not really playing a very realistic version of Mark Zuckerberg because he plays him as if he were a human being and not an android. But uh, but but he he he, he kind of makes a a point and is very specific about it. He wants Facebook to be something that's cool. Facebook is a cool place to go. Facebook is a cool website. That's why he didn't want to have advertisement on it, because advertisement isn't cool. Which, of course, it has advertisement on there now, but I guess that's because Facebook isn't cool anymore. Facebook is dorky. Facebook will do dorky things like this that aren't cool. Censorship is not cool, people. Like, I don't, I don't care what it is. People should be allowed to say what they think and feel. Or what if I disagree with it? Well, yeah. I'm going to disagree with stuff. That's just all there is to it. And, and you know, also, that, that gives me the right to say, I disagree with you. You know, if, if, if somebody wants to talk about, like, racist things, if somebody wants to talk about how racist they are, like how much they hate black people or something like that, how much they hate Jews, well, they should be allowed to do that. But I also have a right to say how much I think they're stupid for saying that, and how it's foolish to be racist, it's foolish to be a bigot, it's foolish to be, you know, homophobic, or whatever, I don't, I don't believe in any of that, I think that everybody's got a right to live their life the way they want to, and everybody should just be cool with each other, and if, if you, if, if you got any kind of bigotry in your heart, you need to get rid of that, but I also want to know when somebody's a bigot, so I, <laughs> I know not to have anything to do with them. So yeah, they should be allowed to say whatever they want, and uh, that's kind of getting beyond what I'm talking about. But my, I, I guess, I guess my point is is just that that Facebook isn't a cool place anymore. Facebook has become a dorky, staid, um, bitty, an old bitty that uh, is a bit busybody and sticking its nose in where it doesn't belong and is no longer a cool and edgy place to be, and wants to be as safe as a glass of warm milk. And, uh, sorry Zuckerberg, your, 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 uh, your platform is no longer cool. And, uh, eventually it's going to get swallowed up by something else that's going to come along, it's going to be bigger. And you might think it, it might not happen, but look at what happened with MySpace, when the younger, hipper Facebook came along and just demolished it. Something's going to happen, Zuckerberg. Something's going to come along. You're going to have a reckoning. And you're going to lose everything. And it's going to become nonsense like what just happened to me. So I'm not telling you this because I want it to happen. I actually like Facebook. I like posting on Facebook. I I've met a lot of really good friends because of Facebook. I've kept track of a lot of really good friends I might have otherwise lost contact with because of Facebook. So I actually like it. I'm telling you this because I'm warning you, I, 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 I want you to look out. I don't want you to let this happen. Just just keep an eye on this stuff, man. Write your ship. <laughs> like, don't let nonsense like this happen because it's going to discourage people from posting on your site. And that's why they're going to go to to alternative platforms and, and things like that. And, and what if, like... You know, everybody kind of makes fun of Parler right now for being like an alt-right platform. I don't know anything about it. I've, I haven't been on it. But 
I mean, what if enough people just get kicked off of Facebook? They just go over to something like Parlor or something like that, and and that becomes like the new thing. And is Facebook just goes the way of MySpace and is a dead platform that nobody goes to anymore. And it's going to be because of nonsense like this. You need to look out for your users and not let things like this happen to them. So I got like really serious there at the end, didn't I? It was it was a really funny and lighthearted video up until I started talking about censorship and how censorship is a bunch of crap. So, but but it is. It's an important issue. So. Anyway, that's pretty much that uh, rant over, and uh, if you were wondering how I got banned from Facebook and you watched this video, now you know. So, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.